Hey what's up you guys, installing a trailer hitch on your Kia Rio can take you to some really cool places like camping, biking, or even towing a small U-Haul trailer just about anywhere in North America. Let's go ahead and break down that install. You'll need the tools seen here to complete this installation. So to start off our install, we're going to remove our underbody panel on the driver's side. It's held in by four push pins on the outside, here, 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 and here. And we have four nuts. There's two located right here. And then there's two in the back located on the pan and one up here. To remove the push pins, we're gonna use a flathead screwdriver. And to remove the nuts, we're gonna use a 10 millimeter socket. Then we'll go ahead and pull it off those studs and this will not be reinstalled. Now with that underbody panel removed, on our frame on the driver's side, we have a rubber plug right here that we're gonna remove. We're either just gonna pull it off or if it's tight, you can use a flathead screwdriver. and then we'll repeat on the passenger side. So now we need to drill some holes in our frame to allow our hitch to come into place. So to make sure we drill in the right spots, we're going to line up our hitch with those two holes we just exposed so we can mark our third hole and drill it out. Now we're gonna be using our U-Haul exclusive hitch jack. This will help us hold it in place. If you don't have a hitch jack, you're gonna to wanna to just hold your hitch up, mark that hole, and then pull it down so you're not holding it while you're drilling. Now with our hitch all lined up, we're going to drill a pilot hole in our forwardmost hole right here. And then we'll go ahead and pull our hitch out of place. Now we're going to enlarge this hole just enough for our hardware to go through. And then we'll repeat on the passenger side. So now on the driver's side, we're ready to bring our hardware into place. We have two carriage bolts and blocks that we're gonna bring into those two holes. Now we're gonna fish it through the frame using our provided fish wires. Now we're gonna take the coiled end of our fish wire and we're gonna start through our rearmost attachment point right here. We're gonna push it into the frame and we're gonna bring it out of our access hole that we just drilled. Now that we have that coiled end, we're gonna take our spacer block and our carriage bolt and we're going to thread it on. Then we're gonna push our spacer into the frame, followed by our bolt, and then we're gonna pull it all the way through. Now on this forwardmost hole on the driver's side, we're gonna do a reverse fish wire technique. We're going to attach our coiled end first onto our carriage bolt and spacer block. We're gonna push our bolt up through, then our spacer block, and then pull it back down. And on the passenger side, we're just gonna use the reverse fish wire technique again. So now we're going to bring our hitch back into place with our U-Haul hitch jack. Now, as we raise it up, we're going to use our fish wires and bring them through each of our three holes on the sides so that it helps line up our hitch. And if we hit the bolts back into the frame, we can just pull it back into place. So now we have one more attachment point on our tow hook. Now we have our provided hardware, which we have a bolt, flat washer, and a spacer block. Now this is gonna go up through our tow loop, and then we have a conical tooth washer that we'll have on top of it. So let's show you how that's done. So we're gonna take our flange nut and we're going to bring it over our hitch onto this plate right here. Now you're gonna line it up with your hole and then we'll take our bolt with the flat washer and spacer 
and we're just gonna hold our nut on one side as we attach it. And we just wanna make sure that our spacer is facing this way in our tow loop. Now we're gonna remove all of our fish wires and install our provided flange nuts on all of our bolts. With our hitch in place, we're now ready to tighten and torque all of our bolts to the manufacturer's specification. We're gonna be using an 11 16th socket for all of our three bolts on the frame, and we'll be using a 14 millimeter socket for our bolt on our tow loop. With our hitch installed, we pulled our vehicle onto level ground to show you some important measurements for your hitch accessories. This is an inch and a quarter receiver, from the pinhole to the edge of the bumper is five inches, and from the ground to the top of the inside of the receiver is 10 inches. This will help you determine the length, rise, and drop for your hitch accessories, such as a bike rack or cargo carrier. So that wraps up our install and our video. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about this product, or if you'd like to schedule an installation with a U-Haul hitch professional, you can visit your closest U-Haul hitch center, or you can visit us online at uhaulhitches.com. Thank you.